These are five of the best airsoft purchases that I've made under $50. I know that I'm the one cause Christ left the 99 for me. Kinda cute, I got sun trying to style on me. A lot of ops DMing, trying to vibe. I'ma tell them like my mom, little boy, we is not homies. Don't get it twisted, this is what I witnessed. Ho, 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 and I ain't talking Saint Nicholas. Trying to skydive off the top of Satan's hit list. So maybe it's you Pharisees, I can't tell the difference. So this channel originally kind of started with the budget airsofter in mind and as much as this channel's grown from that and kind of expanded that is still very much a core purpose of this channel and i realized i kind of haven't been making videos with the budget beginner airsofter in mind and i've been getting a ton of requests for that kind of style of video so i figured hey this would be a good one to talk about so as you guys know i love aliexpress it is the best thing that could be possible for us airsofters you know uh, as much as i love getting legit gear the real thing um, honestly for airsoft it's really not that important and if you're worried about quality don't be um, there's so many good products on aliexpress and honestly probably most of them are made in the exact same factory so with that being said these are the top five products under fifty dollars that I would recommend to you guys. So the first one, hands down, is belts. Um, I have been blown away with my newest belt acquisition. It is a knockoff of the Ferro Concepts Bison belt, um, but there are so many different ones you can choose from that I'm sure you would have great success with as well. Um, but I've run tons of different belts over the last little while, and I could not be happier with my current belt, um, and it costed me $30. Um, it is rock solid. I've run $200 belts and I like this $30 one more. So number two is Kydex. If you don't know what Kydex is, let me preach you the gospel of Kydex. For all you guys like me who run kind of like the, uh, you know, like the mag inserts that are kind of like bungee and stretchy um, and they're just kind of like fabric, um, they're not the best for re-indexing your mags. And what I mean by that is like when you go to reload, um, it's great for pulling a mag out, but not so great for sticking it back in. And what Kydex is, it's basically like a loop of hard plastic and it basically just goes right into your mag pouch and you can just slide your mag in there so much easier um, and it is just fantastic. So I've got ones for my pistol mags. Um, I used to run them for my MP7 and I've also got uh, the 5.56 ones as well for my M4 mags. And I've got some more on order as well because uh, these things are just fantastic. You can throw them into pretty well any pouch and uh, if they don't come with Velcro on the back, you can quickly just add some, slap it into your pouch, you're done, call it a day. And for number three, we're gonna be talking about red dot sights. Now I know I love a professional awesome red dot as much as the next guy, but I've bought in so many cheap sights from AliExpress and they've all worked phenomenally. I've run them on gas blowbacks with no issues and uh, they are just fantastic and you can usually get something that's like a little bit more you know high-end looking if you know what I mean like more legit um, like a Sig Romeo or like a, a unity fast mount or a loop hold I recently got a loop hold and like that's like a two thousand dollar real steel sight and I think I paid around like $80 for it so it's a little out of the budget for this uh, video but you know what I'm saying it's a great option um, They've all worked well for me, no issues whatsoever. I've never had one that hasn't worked well. But like, don't get the $12 one, you know what I mean? Uh, spend a little bit more, get something. I'm sure you can find something for under $50, no problem. Number four is gonna be pouches. Um, this is just pouches in general. My brother especially is someone who's always, you know, looking at the new Ferro Concepts or Spirit of Systems pouches that are coming out. And uh, you can usually find them with a, within about two to three months uh, if you just wait on AliExpress for at least 50% off. Um, and honestly, the quality is probably not quite as good, let's be honest. But for Airsoft, again, it's good enough, all right? I recently just placed an order for some more pouches um, as well, so we'll talk about those maybe when they come in, but uh, I have been super happy with all the pouches that I've ordered. Um, if you want, just like watch videos of like real steel guys and like what they run, and you can usually just like listen to the names that they're saying, plug it into AliExpress and you can find something pretty similar. And number five is gonna be speed loaders. Now speed loaders are one of the most useful things at on the airsoft field, and it really saves a ton of time. Hands down, the most popular one is the Odin. I've owned a fake Odin and I've owned the legit Odin. Now I do think the legit Odin is 
quite superior. I've got the EPM 1S's, so they hold a ton of ammo, and the springs are quite stiff on them. Um, and actually even my new Odin is starting to pooch a little bit. But I did have quite a bit of success with my $20 knockoff Odin. And my friend, he ordered the same one that I have, and he still runs his to this day, and it's been about two years now. Um, so 20 bucks on AliExpress or Amazon or something like that, and uh, he's still running it. So um, you can definitely get a really nice speed loader for quite cheap. And well, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for today's video on the top five budget items for Airsoft, under 50 bucks. And uh, yeah, hopefully that gave you some ideas. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments down below. And if you guys wanna see more of these kind of budget-friendly videos or another list for maybe under 100 or something like that, definitely let me know and I can make that happen. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.